Welcome to PC Woods Gets Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Cooler Master Storm Trooper. This one here is a full tower gaming case from the uh, CM Storm series. Good looking case, I gotta admit. Full tower. It uh, is obviously steel, metal, and plastic on the front bezel there, as you can see. We're gonna go through this in detail. One thing I gotta point out right off the bat when you look at this at the top, it's got a nice handle so you can carry it around because these cases can get a little bit heavy, but it makes it easy. Nice grip. And on the front, on the panel there, in front of that grip, you've got the power button, you've got two USB 3.0s, you've got two USB 2.0s, LEDs there, your headphone jack, mic jack, you've got an eSATA port, and of course, a little reset button right there. Now, where the um, buttons here in the middle, those are for your fan controller. You can turn off the LED and the power button, okay? So you can actually control the speeds of your fans with that, have it at uh, low speed, medium high this is what it would look of course and you can alternate through the speeds and the lights change colors to reflect that below that you've got an x dock that's where you would get your favorite ssd drive for example and slide it in there and have it automatically be detected and use it um below you've got your uh plates there obviously for the drives you know you've got your front bezel that comes out there and of course these have dust filters you've got tons of support for adding drives here's the uh, specifications just so you guys know okay the dimensions the weight the motherboard support of course and um, like I said tons of drives when it comes to cooling features it does come with two red LED fans which you can rotate and move in different you know orientations but another thing I like to point out here at the bottom of the front of the case you've got this little toolbox hidden in there so uh, once you remove that little compartment by taking out the screws You've got this little box, and in that box you can keep all your tools, you can keep things that you might want to use later in the future so that you don't lose them. I like it. I've seen this been done before on higher end cases. I'm glad Cooler Master has thought about doing the same thing here, and I love it. So this is an additional bonus which I think ranks this case above the rest. Now looking at the top of the case where you see the grill pattern, a lot of ventilation for the air pumped out at the top, for example, through the exhaust. And of course it is dust filters all over the place which I really like as well. Looking at the side panel which is obviously going to be customized. You can you can have fans there on that side panel or you can just leave it open like that. And on the opposite side you've got some ventilation as well. It kind of matches the design on either side of the case so it looks really cool. All right, So I have no complaints about that. Inside of the case again dust filters for the PSU adding another fan at the bottom by removing that uh, SSD cage is not a problem You can see there's lots of cable management holes there huge Openings so that way you can route your cables no problem through here and uh, install your boards it Has support for all kinds of boards from micro ATX to the extra large ATX huge CPU cooler hole there for your easy replacement needs and of course lots of expansion slots Comes with an exhaust fan at the back, of course. I'll be removing it so I can install a radiator there for liquid cooling. And there's the huge 200 millimeter fan. Those are massive. Uh, I'm not surprised that uh, it comes with that as well. So terrific job from uh, Cooler Master adding a well-rounded cooling package right off the bat. Now, let's talk about this a little bit more in detail. There are two fans that come by default like this on the side. But you can take out these fans they're basically attached to the hard drive cage. So you unplug the hard drive cage and you can actually turn the hard, hard drive cage to face the front. So the fan doesn't have to face the side. You can have one fan facing the side taking cool air from, from one side and then one fan facing the front. You just have to take out the uh, plates, put them in facing the opposite way, slide the cage back in, you're done. Okay, so you can have both fans at the front, both fans on the side, one on each. Very cool, very flexible. I love what they've done here, no complaints from me, especially with the toolless design. Definitely like the case in the dark. Now, look at the uh, other side of the case there, again with the cable management, gives you a good view, lots of space to have cables attached. You can also have your clips, okay, your, your little clips there, you know, so you can have twist ties and things like that, all nicely bundled and attached to the uh, motherboard tray there. So. Lots of space there, holes along the top so you can route things nicely along the top. No complaints there for me. Definitely love the uh, cable management support. Again, at the bottom, another look there at the dust filters which remove by sliding things out. 
Just like at the top of the case, it actually has a dust filter there too that slides out. Very nice. And that's how they should do things, right? Don't forget to have dust filters on every case, everywhere. You don't want dust coming in, so why not put dust filters everywhere so you can regularly clean them, prevent your, your case from getting dirty on the inside. Very nice. I can't complain. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Now, you can have obviously your liquid cooling. You can have your USB cable coming in through there as well. If you have 3.0, you can replace the fan. You have lots of room here to route your peripherals through there, through that little uh, slot there. Lots of expansion slots available and of course your power supply hole at the bottom. Now, what can I say? I definitely recommend this. I give it a perfect score of a 10 out of 10 for all of the different reasons that I just pointed out. And I definitely have to proceed to the next video filling this up. But first, I'd like to thank Cooler Master for providing it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In my next video, I'm going to fill this case up, show you everything inside of it. We're going to review things piece by piece, and stay tuned for more PC WizKid hardware reviews. Thank you for watching.